Hello and welcome to an information presentation on Stage 6 Food Technology. Food technology is designed for anybody interested in developing an understanding about food systems. Through your study of food tech, you will develop skills to make informed decisions and develop an appreciation of the importance of food, not only to the well-being of the individual through your study of nutrition, but also to the social and economic future of Australia. Food technology is a two-unit subject that contributes both towards your, your HSC and inclusion in your ATAR calculation. As a result, you will need to sit an external HSC examination at the end of Year 12. There is no prerequisite for this course. That is, you do not have to have studied food tech in Stage 5 to undertake this course. It is mandatory, however, that all students undertake practical activities. These activities would include food practical tasks, experiments, food photography and food product development. It is therefore an expectation that students would have an APRIM. The topics covered in Year 11 include food availability and selection, which investigates the factors that influence the availability of food in our country and also the factors that influence why, as individuals, we all make different food choices in life. Food quality, this is more focused on the causes of food spoilage, presenting food for food photography and the functional properties of food. And finally, nutrition. Here we investigate the nutrients, their role in the human body and digestion. The types of learning involved throughout Year 11 and Year 12 include research and analysis, experimentational work, practical food preparation and the communication of food issues in a variety of ways. Year 12 will see you investigate the four sectors of the Australian food industry and food manufacture, which looks more closely at the manufacture of our food products in our ever-changing society. Food product development investigates the process a company goes through to develop and market a new food product and why they may choose to undertake this process. Finally, we finish with contemporary nutrition and this looks more closely at nutritional disorders and the impact these conditions are having on individual society and the economy. In this unit, we will also look at just why that blueberry smoothie, which is being promoted as high in antioxidants, may or may not be as good for us as they want us to believe. By studying food technology, you will become more informed and thus responsible in making decisions about food. Knowledge and skills learnt in food tech may benefit an individual interested in a career from anything from a nutritionist to work in the health industry or a food quality manager. Or you may just decide that this is a subject for you because you have an interest in this area and therefore will enjoy your work and thus helping you to achieve your best. If you need any more information, please don't hesitate to ask either Mrs Parsons, Mrs Nettleton or Mrs Taylor in TES. Thank you.